The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure webpage accessed at www.danielstrading.com at the bottom of the homepage. Daniels Trading is not affiliated with nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or other similar service. Daniels Trading does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services. Stop orders do not necessarily limit your loss to the stop price because stop orders, if the price is hit, become market orders and depending on market conditions, the actual fill price can be different from the stop price. If a market reaches daily price fluctuation limit, a limit move, it may be impossible to execute a stop loss order. This is Don DiBartolo, a senior commodities broker with Daniels Trading in Chicago. I'm the editor of the Trade Spotlight Advisory Service. I want to take a look at a specific trade recommendation and break down the wave projection. This is a technique to determine an potential exit on a favorable move. So over my shoulder, you will see a chart for the May 2012 coffee futures market. The recommendation based on an MET trigger was to sell the contract at 213.75, a break of the February 2nd low of 213.85. But before I enter the market, I first establish my trading plan. A trading plan consists of both a stop loss order and a target order. The stop loss was placed at 216.75, just above recent lows. This is three points from the entry price, which in coffee futures equates to a $1,125 risk. Each tick in coffee futures is $3.75, uh, and a full point, say from 213.75 to 214.75, is $375. There's a futures price calculator on the Daniels Trading website if you're uncertain about the point values in coffee futures. The target on the trade is using the wave projection. Reviewing the chart, I spot a wave from the January 12th high of 241.10 and the February 2nd low of 213.85. This is a wave of 27 and a quarter points. So with the wave projection, we're looking for a replication of the 27 and a quarter points. Think of the wave projection as an actual wave in a body of water. In Chicago, if I'm standing on Lakeshore Drive, I overlook Lake Michigan. If I see a wave approaching the shore, typically the next wave to come in is about the similar height. So back to the chart, it appears that the next wave begins on the February 8th high. So calculating 27 and a quarter points from that high, that sets our target at 197.75. That's 16 points from our entry price. I'm gonna slide in a second chart. It took just seven trading days for the wave to replicate itself. During the sell-off, stop loss was trailed down once to 535 points below the entry price second to eight points below the entry price. Uh, but even though uh, stop losses were trailed below our entry price, there's still risk on the trade. There can be a fast market, there can be a gap above our stop loss, or there can be slippage on the fill price. All things to consider when you're trading futures contracts. I'm gonna slide in a third chart. This is an intraday chart from February 16th. Now the market was trailed intraday down to 202.75. That's 11 points below the entry price. Just in case the 200 market couldn't hold. Then you see the market traded as low as 197.80. That's just one tick away from our wave projection and target price. And the market bounced off there slightly. So once again, the stop loss was moved intraday lower to 199.75. 14 points below our entry price. And as you can see from there, the market rallied 450 points, stopping us out of our short position at 199.75.
As you can see from this example, a wave projection could be a useful tool to determine where to exit a position. If you're looking for additional entries and active trade management, I invite you to follow the Trade Spotlight Advisory Service. I'll continue to look for trade setups like these to give us that next caffeine rush. Happy trading.